Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Please do me a huge favour by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so how do I improve my fine, thin hair? Well, here's how, so do pay attention. Okay, first things first, do you look in the mirror and do you see your hair getting a little bit finer? Do you see your hair really struggling to hold a style? The first thing you need to do, okay, is you need to check out what's going on health-wise. So before we get into any of what I'm going to say, if you're noticing a change, see your family doctor. Okay, let's move on. So when you've got naturally thin, fine hair, that's different to when somebody is actually losing their hair or their hair density is changing over time. Okay, that is very, very different issues. But here, I want to talk to you about how you can make the most and improve your fine, thin or thinning hair. Okay, so first thing, it all starts off in the bathroom when your hair is wet. So when your hair is wet, the best thing you can do is make the right choices for your shampoo conditioner. If you've got fine, low density hair, okay, the last thing you want to be doing is using a shampoo and a conditioner like this. Now forget the brand, okay, because the brand is not relevant, but something like this, silky and smooth, okay, because what this does is this flattens hair, it smooths hair out, it makes your hair, yeah, soft, sleek, really conditioned, but then of course, it takes every bit of character, every bit of volume, every bit of texture out of your hair. So therefore, if you've got fine, thin, thinning hair, perhaps you're parting, if you're a lady sat here watching this and perhaps your parting is a little bit wider or you're a man sat here and your temples are creeping up and your density on the top is really, really sort of thinning out. You haven't got too much money to be paying out on shampoos and conditioners, which often is pretty expensive for thinning hair or fine hair. So you want something that's going to deliver. Well, stay away from anything which is smoothing, sort of those type of shampoos which are designed for making the hair sleek, those defrizzing ones. Leave them alone for guys and lovely ladies who have got the thick frizzy hair. Bearing in mind, thin thinning hair or just naturally fine thin hair, all of those kind of typical, uh, very often frequent hair types here in the UK and the Western world um, can still be beautiful, can still be really, really cool for guys, can really be beautiful for ladies as well. And with the right know-how and styling, they can be amazing. But don't be using anything smoothing, don't be using anything for frizzy hair or anything like that at all. You want to look for something which is going to add bulk to your hair. The one thing which fine, thin hair lacks is natural structure. So, of course, thicker hair has that boost of texture because, of course, there's more hair to support it. Fine hair doesn't necessarily mean you've got less hair on your head. It just means that the diameter of the hair is less and smaller. So you can still have amazing hair. And if you're using products like one of my absolute favorites, and I've been using this for many years now, and I've done a review a couple of years ago on this, but this is the Organics uh, OGX Thick and Full Biotin and Conditioner. Uh, this is the large size because I use a lot of it. Uh, buy this from Amazon, really great price on there. And this stuff works wonders. It adding bulk to the hair. The shampoo, just a couple of minutes. It's really nice. It's got a great lather and it really sets the sort of canvas off for having really great hair. Even if it's the finest of hair, with this you could get great volume. And then with a the conditioner, leave it in for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to go into the ingredients because that's for a different clip. If you want to see that, I've got a video on this, uh, the OGX Biotin and Collagen. Please go find it. I'll add it to the end of this clip. Um, have a look at that because that is really, really great. But that, if you've got fine hair, that's the type of shampoo and conditioner you really want to be looking for. Something which is going to add bulk, it's going to lift that hair away from the scalp, it's going to add texture, volume, all of those great things. So, if you're, so if you're a lady sat there and you've got that fine hair, which you walk out of the salon, you've got that amazing blowout look, really, really stunning hair, but then a couple of hours it sits flat to your scalp and the style just completely dropped. You need something which is going to boost texture and volume in your hair. So that all starts off when your hair is wet in the bathroom. So using the OGX uh, Biotilling Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner is really, really going to help you. If you're a guy watching this, your hair can be really, really cool if you've got thinning hair, fine hair, perhaps you haven't got a lot of money. With the price of everything going up in our society in recent years, it's incredible. Even the prices of products have really, really reached sky high, to be quite honest with you. But with the OGX Biotilling Collagen or something designed for fine hair, if you're going to be buying yourself a shampoo and conditioner and you've got fine hair, thinning hair, or just low density hair, or you're not even thinning, you've just naturally got fine, thin hair, go for something which is going to add volume, going to add texture, and often these are designed and told to us as thickening shampoos and conditioners. They may not address the problem as hair loss or thinning hair, but they are going to mimic 
you having more hair. So I always say in my hairstyles and some of my previous clips that my hair is often more air than hair. I've got fine hair, but rather a lot of it. Today I've got it slicked back into a style here, but as you can see, you've only got to see from here. My hair is fine. It looks, I like to think that I keep my hair in a great style, but using the right know-how, you can have really great looking hair. And please bear in mind that even the finest of hair can still look absolutely beautiful on a lady and really, really cool for a guy. So let's move forward. So you come out of the shower now, you've got that, you've prepped your hair with a thickening shampoo and conditioner, really, really great. The next thing is when you dry your hair off, very often people with fine hair often find that their hair is flat on top or their style doesn't last, it's a bit lank. So then what you want to go in with, wet products, remember, always for wet hair, dry products, always for dry hair. OK, so if you're a lady sat there and you like those curls, you like those sort of flicks, those kicks in the end of the hair, or you like that high sky volume, then a product such as a mousse. Now, bear in mind, be careful of this because it's quite a traditional product. A mousse you often don't find, but I find there is no better way in getting in the most finest, thinnest hair, which can still be beautiful, by the way. Even thinning hair, absolutely stunning with the right know-how. A product such as this by Char uh, Charles Worthington, uh, thicker, fuller hair, intensifying mousse. Okay, so about a golf ball size amount on a comb. All right, when your hair is fine, combing the mousse through roots. Don't bother through the lengths and ends of your hair. No need. Roots, top of your scalp. Use about a golf ball size amount to about two. Comb that through the roots of your hair. Then blow dry your hair through. Always aim to the sky. Go sky high with your hair. Blow dry it up. If you can't do that, okay, lean your head forward, okay, blow dry your hair towards the floor. So you're getting that natural volume in your hair. And then when you flip your head back up, you'll notice your hair feels a bit thicker in the roots. Because ultimately what you're trying to do is you're trying to get that structure, that kind of almost scaffolding into your hair to mimic that your hair has got much more of a structure basis of what thicker, fuller hair has got. Bearing in mind, fine hair, as we keep saying, can be ultimately beautiful with the right tools and the right know-how. So with this, you're, you're giving an illusion that you've got a fuller, density in your fine hair. Then you go on and do your styling. Now very often if you sat there thinking that's not for me, then you're probably the best tool to use for you is dry shampoo. Now of course I'm aiming this at ladies hair here, but guys can use these tips as well. For example, a little bit of mousse throughout your hair, the front of your hair, if you've got like a pompadour style, and I mean short at the sides and uppercut style, use a bit of mousse throughout your hair. One or two golf ball size amount, dry it through with a blow dryer, an oblong style brush I always use in the round for a lady, up towards the ceiling, great for fullness and texture. Then use a clay-like product or a putty. If you have got fine hair and you're a guy sat there, don't use wet products because wet products are going to make your hair more see-through, okay? So you're going to lose density, dry the hair thoroughly, use thickening shampoo or conditioner, then use a mousse possibly, don't have to of course, but it's going to give you a little bit more of a thicker edge, then use a putty or a clay and go for roughness and texture. If you're going to go for sleekness, don't comb all the way through your hair, comb off to the side or just comb sort of the ends, don't go down in because then you're going to lose that fullness, all right? If you're a lady sat there watching and you think that my hair just does not hold its style, dry shampoo is going to be absolutely amazing for you. You've probably already known this, but you're probably using it as a cleanser. Stop using it as a cleanser. There are tips out there which say don't keep washing your hair so much. I don't actually agree with that because for me, your scalp is an extension of your face. You wouldn't not wash your face every day. And I think for the perfect scalp environment for hair, optimum hair growth, you want to get rid of the bacteria, which of course just in everyday living you can you can get on your on your thin, on your skin, on your scalp. Wash it every day. If I was you, I'd recommend washing your hair every day. If you can't, and for different hair types, of course, that's just not possible. That's absolutely fine. Everybody will know what's best for their hair. But here are my best tips for fine hair, thinning hair, naturally fine hair as well. All very different. And of course, thin hair too. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end of the world. Okay. So when you're styling your hair, a dry shampoo after freshly washed and conditioned hair, which for fine people will know, men and women will know their hair sits flat straight away. And a star, even a, and a really top professional blow dry will fall very, very quickly. But with a little bit of dry shampoo, okay, this is the Batiste one, uh, dry, uh, dry shampoo and volume to give hair show-stopping volume with plumping collagen. Okay, that's mentioned quite a lot because it adds fullness and texture. Spray this through into your roots, okay, rough it through into your lengths, and that's going to give you texture. It's going to give you hair lift, and it's ultimately going to give you the illusion of having more hair. So dry shampoo is going to be really, really great for that, but don't use it as a cleanser because then you're running the risk of it clogging the follicles and then potentially making fun hair even finer okay but use it as a styling tool to make the hair appear fuller with texture all right let's flip this around a little bit perhaps you don't want to use a, an old style mousse you may be sat there thinking perhaps you don't even like dry shampoo 
How about a root lifting spray? So, men and women, don't forget this. In the roots, something like the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Boost. I absolutely love this. When your hair's wet, don't forget, spray, spray a couple of sprays throughout the hair. Blow dry it off. Use your hands. If you don't like using brushes and things like that, you'll get much more texture. It just gives that little bit of thickness in the roots, that little bit of texture. All right. And then you can achieve much more fuller, thicker, denser hair. Now, okay, let's flip this round a bit. Perhaps you're a guy sat here watching. You think, oh my God, when's he going to actually get to something I can relate to? Well, I can because I've always had fine hair. Okay, 2015, I went through some hair loss. And what I found that actually using something which kept me kind of a ahead of the game type thing with hair because hair fall for men sometimes unfortunately there's no way there's no kind of way getting away from it men do lose a certain amount of hair doesn't mean to say that you've got to accept that i love the alpazin caffeine liquid this is something i use on a daily basis and i use this throughout the front of my hairline or throughout my scalp and then on top of whatever treatments i want to use or whatever i'm reviewing on my channel that i absolutely swear by for men's hair there is a woman's version called plant hair which is really really great for women as well how do i know that because i've had different family members explore that use that and had great results if you're a guy sat here watching this, you've got short hair, you're probably thinking, nah, I'm just going to shave it off. Don't, because your hair is very much you, and to have thick, full hair, yeah, okay, it's a blessing. But, ultimately, if you're well and you're healthy, that is the most, in most, that sounded really posh, didn't it? That is the most important thing in this life. Your hair is the expression of, is, to be honest with you, I always find that hair is you. It's you. But having good, healthy hair is the expression of inner health, all right? So, main core... Make sure you eat fruits and vegetables, keep yourself active, exercise, de-stress, detox that body. Yes, I'm not saying to you to sit here, stop drinking. If you smoke, that is quite a bad thing for hair and your health overall. So really try to push on and stopping that. But alcohol, little and whatever you want to do, I can sit here and say that to you. But to be quite honest with you, anything in moderation is going to be okay. Life would be awfully boring if we didn't do those great things, if we didn't enjoy ourselves, if we didn't take a moment to socialize with friends, family, and have one or two drinks. What I'm saying is if you're doing it every night and it's becoming a bit of a habit for some people, that's going to have a nasty effect on the body. Let's get back to styling. So if you've got short, fine hair and you really struggle for it to hold, this is a really great product of mine. The Got To Be by Schwarzkopf Plumped Powdered Styling Spray. So if you're a guy watching this, this is probably the most amazing product to use for fine things thin hair is a dust use it as a spray okay you can find this online you can find it in places here in the uk such as super drug boots that type of thing it is absolutely brilliant it just adds instant texture fullness into the hair and then even the finest thinnest hair will stand up great for you and you'll be able to style your hair okay so really really hope you've enjoyed my tips i really really hope you'll take some of them away on how you can achieve that really, really great fine hair. But what I do want to leave you with is just because you may have fine hair, you may have thinning hair as a lady, you may have hair loss as a man, gent, whatever you want to call it, that does not change you. You are amazing just by being you. Your hair, yes, is you and your very, very character. But let me tell you something. Just because you have perhaps lesser density hair means nothing in this world at all. Do not lose confidence over it. Okay, own it, control it, but do not lose sleep over it because ultimately you are incredible for being you. And even the finest, thinnest, thinning hair in this world can be stunning and is really, really cool. Okay, and just remember, no matter how thin and fine your hair is, underneath everybody's head of hair is a shiny scalp, all right? And it actually, it means nothing. And to be quite honest with you, it's the person who's inside. If you're going to come across somebody, they may have incredible hair, but is an absolute beep of a person then great <laughs> so really really hope that that gives you a little bit of confidence and a bit of a boost here because at the end of the day fine hair can be just as amazing if not better than thick hair i really really hope you've enjoyed this and if i can be of any help please leave me a comment down below and if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and i will be seeing you real soon take great care my very best wishes to you i'll be seeing you real soon bye for now